greatest performance. Give it, give it, give it to me. Uh-huh. Here we go. We came, we saw, we kicked it down. You're listening to the Gene and Steve Show. Step aside and let the big kids play. Wrong song in your ears. Sweet kids. Far worse than that. Yeah. I. I uh, oh my god! I came to a realization on Friday. <laughs> be said, Steve, don't cry. And Stephanie came in and she said, "Oh dear God." This is yeah. Maine's fault, by the way. <laughs> this has nothing to do. This with This has Maine absolutely at all. Maine's fault because uh-uh. the car has to go into storage next month. Dragon Isis, cheer up, cinnamon buns. There is nothing to cheer up. The car has to go into storage next month, right. right? Which means it won't be able to come out until probably about March, April time, right? right? We're going to be gone by then. I know. Which means I have to sell the car now, <laughs> not when we're ready to move, because all indications uh, are we're going to have a really bad winter here, which means right. if I put the car in storage, I probably can't get it out, even if right. I wanted to. Uh, we're not moving to anywhere particular, Dragon Eyes, he's asking. Um, uh, we're actually just uh, traveling the world. So it's not like we're up and moving house or something because we're actually getting See, the S- rid of the entire house. The S4, no the S4 I'm leaving out for the winter because we'll drive that through the winter because yeah. that's so much fun in the snow. <laughs> but the S5 is like, that's actually a nice car. and F-15 you know. says sorry to hear about that. And Steph has offered to drive it for you. For a mere $28,000, you can drive it. <laughs> and that's discounted. So I've got to sell it. So you're selling the I have S5, to sell it now. Our really kick-ass S5. You're selling. So you're only going to have one car to clean. Is Do you know how angry I am about it? I stripped the carbon fiber off it today. <laughs> you really I actually did. got up this morning and took the carbon fiber <laughs> intake off and a couple other things replaced it. Dragon Eye says Craigslist it. I don't really think that's a Craigslist <laughs> yeah, car. No, no it's a I, very I, I, I did. Well, it's a stage one. It's a stage. It's oh, a stage yeah. one S five. <laughs> so the S four is a stage two. Yeah. The S four is a stage two. The S five is a stage one. Um, uh, Fifteen saying no, dude. That's more money. Uh, Magnum says you can go on eBay. Yeah. Marcus said he knew this is what you were angry about on your status when you I, posted it. I, <laughs> How did you guess it was about a car? I just, I, I'm just, it's just that pain that I, it's like, if I don't, I have to sell this before the snow comes. Yeah. Well, actually, I want to sell it before the rain comes because it's so difficult to keep a car Oh, we all know. Clean. We all know how much you've bitched about cleaning the cars here in Maine. We know, we know, we know. Oh, my God. Don't worry, Dragon Eyes. 
I, I, there will be a rant, Steve, not just sad, Steve. I'm pretty sure there'll be a rant, Steve, today. Maybe. I don't know. I'm <laughs> I'm kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Big B. <laughs> Maybe two hundred a week. Two hundred yeah. a week. Wow. I don't know. I might consider that. I mean, okay, yeah. Just saying. <sighs> okay, so we're selling the car like this next month. Over the next, like that the is next a badass weeks. fucking vehicle. That yes. is. Mm-hmm. Because it's all got it's it's upright, it's suspension, it's got bigger brakes, it's an it's got a full yeah, it's got the full exhaust on it as well the the Sistess or whatever it's called the proper Audi upgrade right. it's got ARP carbon on it I mean it's <sighs> Jesus sorry I'm frozen I I if I don't sell it I'm gonna probably. I, I'm then going to be stuck because I'll then have a car in storage and I won't even be here and then I've got to try and sell it remotely. The problem is I don't want people coming and looking at it. <laughs> I don't want some some person turning up on my driveway going, I would like to buy your car. I don't want them to buy the car. I don't want somebody else in that car. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck. Are you going to be able to handle this? No. Because, I mean, you're like... Oh, I'll refocus my efforts on the S4 again until we leave. That I can do. <laughs> what, in like a chemical guy's way? Is yeah. That what you mean? Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, oh, I'm really sad. Sorry. <laughs> we knew this day was coming. I didn't think okay. it was coming yet. I, I <laughs> mentally prepared myself. Oh, I'll sell it in January. Right. And then I realized, I mean, even last winter, it was really mild. We still got the cars stuck quite a few times. Yes. Yes. And I mean, if you remember, during the winter, I was actually, like, cleaning snow off the car, like, every few hours. Steph said you're traveling the world, get over it. Oh, fuck off, Stephanie. <laughs> you know, the thing is, is, like, when Fucking we were deciding, when we started to try to, like, you know, decide whether we're going to travel the world, just get rid of everything and actually do it, rather than do, like, a six months back and six months gone kind of thing. You know, his one hang-up mm-hmm. was cars. And mm-hmm. he was like, I'm ready to buy a Lamborghini now. That's it. I, I finally got there. Yeah. I have an S4. I am ready to get that car. Mm-hmm. And now I can't have it. And that was his biggest hang-up. Yeah, that took me a few... Cars. That was a few months for me to, like, come around to the idea yeah, of you, not like, going for it. You, like, went into a mini depression I know. over it. It was, yeah. like, really bad. I, mean, I know. Like, really bad. I know, but I thought I'd have longer with the S5. How? I mean, we're actually staying here longer than we thought. I know, but, but well, because I because th- <laughs> in my we mind, by the end of this year, in my mind, I would, look. I know fully well if I price that right, I'd sell that tomorrow, well, right? Yeah. But right now, the car's worth about thirty four, thirty five. If I sell it for like twenty six, twenty seven, it would go today, right? Big pieces you have it paid off in under three years. Yeah, technically <laughs> you would. Okay, so are you going to mope about this all day long? Uh, yeah, and tomorrow, and the next day. <laughs> you can't keep doing that. You're going to, like, totally drag the show down and drag, like, our home life down. Like, completely. Well, boo fucking who? Welcome to my world. <laughs> You're all going to share in my pain, whether you like it or not. All of I'm you. I'm going to periscope the moment it sells, just so y'all know. I'm periscoping the shit. <clears throat> I, I just... Uh. <laughs> Leonard just tuned in. And he's like, why so sad? We're selling the S5. Yeah. It, well, I mean, I think it's kind of a cool thing because it's like, okay, that's kind of like one of our big first steps. How the fuck is that a cool thing? No, but it's like our biggest like first step of like for us leaving. I mean, we've been getting rid of stuff in the house and like this weekend... Chop we'll your like, arm off. No. Chop your arm off. No. Go on, chop your no. arm off. You know, that's a big <laughs> step to leaving, isn't it? Chop no. your fucking arm off. <laughs> Yeah, let's see how that works. Chop your arm off. No, that's my fucking balls, that car. (laughs) Oh, God. But no, I mean, we've been downsizing in the house all weekend long. And that's that's what we came to, that decision. We have to sell it this weekend. Like, that's, it's time to go. It is time to go. We're going to keep the S4 until we leave. 
obviously, because that can go in the snow easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of fun in the snow. But, yeah, it is time to start cutting things out. Heck, you're about to start getting rid of your desk. And I don't care about laptop. that. I'd sell all this shit tomorrow. I don't care. I would I, even I, sell my clothes. I'd, I'd walk around in a thong. <laughs> Well, I know you would do that, but that would be, you know, despite whether you're And I just mean flip-flop thongs. Yeah, I don't mean thongs. <laughs> I, had stuck. I don't need clothes. I don't need anything. I don't even need food. But the S5? <laughs> mm. uh, Big B said he'd let us borrow it when we come back. I don't think we're coming back. Hmm? I don't no. think we're coming back. No, we're not. There's no way. <laughs> There's, like, so many cooler places in the world than here. <sighs> But not with a black S5. No, but you'll be able to get your Lamborghini on like islands and stuff like that. No, you I can can't. Get, like, an exotic, uh, you know, because you and Ethan are going to do an exotic rental well, car. Yeah. Business, so you're going to have yeah, but Lamborghinis. Stop trying to cheer me up. I want to wallow in self pity. And Bentleys. You're going to have all of those anyway when we go. Right, I know. Right. So, problem is. Marcus, I seriously will set fire to your fucking house if you say that again. Marcus said, Jesus, tying your manhood to a car. You're beginning to sound like a Dodge Ram owner. Shall we get you some truck nuts for the A4? Uh, it is an S4, you fucking <laughs> retard. All right, if you're going to insult me, at least get the product correct. A4. No, no, an A4. Do you know what A4 it's means? It means average. Do you know what S4 means? Super fast. A4. Oh, that drives me nuts. When non-Audi people go, oh, that's a nice A4. Really? It's actually an S4, which is a big difference. Well, they'd know if the badge was on it. The badge is on it. On the S4. It is. Oh, you've been telling me you had to get a new one. You had to I get do. A new I, grill, I need, I need to get, get a new get grill for that now. For it, now uh-huh. I'm leaving. i got to pamper that thing. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. We're leaving. We are actually going to be selling that one, too. I know, but... No, I know, but... Okay, if that... If, that, if I get that back to showroom condition, right... That car right now, because it's a B5, because <laughs> uh-huh. it's a B5 body style, we could get 11 to 12K for that. Cool. Because it's a stage two. Cool. Well, actually, I'd need to take well, it to what? a stage three. Right, so you're just spending shit tons no, of money on No, we'd get it all back. We'd get it all back. It would be an so investment. S- it would actually be an investment. How much is it going to cost to make it a, a, a stage three? About five grand. About five grand. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. So it's really not much of an investment at all. I do understand cars. See, I'm actually going to be more sad to see the S4 go because my dad gave me that one. Yeah. So, because he got the S5 and these other ones. And he was like, yeah, I don't need this many cars. You can have it. Okay. Well, my dad preferred y- you, me to you because he gave me the S5. <laughs> he didn't give it to you. What well, kind yeah, of? Yeah, he did. Well, it's only because I couldn't drive it. I know. <laughs> well, he never would have let me drive it, even if I could. So. Okay, are you going to let Audis go? you you going like, to be done with that now? Well, I have to, apparently. <laughs> I mean, like, the whole subject. No. You're killing everybody's Monday. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Hey, here's a really cool thing. What? In like less than two hours, I'm getting tattooed. What is it? Is it of an S5 by any chance? <laughs> no. Uh, Joel says Audi S5 year and price. 2011. It's the V8, which is the one that they only did that for a year. It's also a stage one. So it's, well, it did until I stripped the carbon fiber off it. Uh, <laughs> but it's got a braided suspension, brakes, exhaust, and it goes like, and it's manual. So it's a proper car. It goes like shit off a shovel. <laughs> I've always found that a weird expression because shit doesn't I've go off a shovel. I've never heard that oh, have you expression not? ever. Oh, it goes like shit off a shovel, which is ever. odd because shit doesn't actually roll off a shovel very easily. It kind of grips <laughs> a lot. Know that. And to, well, come on, we've all shoveled a bit of shit in our time, right? I have not ever shoveled shit. Uh, Joe oh. wants to know price. Uh, I take 28 for it and I'll leave the carbon fiber. Well, I'll put the carbon fiber back on because <laughs> <laughs> I just took it off. I was that angry. I, I don't even have it for sale yet. I was that angry. I got up this morning and took the intake <laughs> off it. You were that angry going to bed last night. I thought you were going to do it in the middle of the night. You were just like, I was almost doing it. I was like, like well, I have to Skype you a message so yeah. I remember something in the morning. I'm like, yeah. what? And he was like, take the fiber, carbon fiber off. Right now, that, ca- that car without the... Pr- oh, and it's got the premium package. So it's got the badass leather and all the nice sound system and, and all that shit in there. It is a fucking nice vehicle. And 
<laughs> and everybody on this show knows I fucking look after it. That thing has about a quarter of an inch of wax over it. Uh, Joel wants to know what kind of tires and how old are they? Seriously, this isn't like... like uh, uh, honestly... Are you going to sell your Audi to a yeah, listener? Yeah, the, the P0s on the back are, are probably only have a few months left, and the fronts, I have no idea. They're like some just regular make. I actually don't know what they are. So... Yes, it is Steve's loved child. Yeah. Yes, it is yeah, the very ti- much his the tires, uh, Yeah, the tires... I, I mean, if you're going to drive it like I drove it... Um, I didn't you, let you, him get the new, t- the really expensive tires. No, I wanted to put P zeros back on I it. I knew we were leaving, so yeah, and I was like, yeah, no. So, hello, other Leonard. Hello, other Leonard. Yes, it is just a morning. Uh, There's nothing good about it. <laughs> uh, it's a Quattro, right? He said. No, it is an S5. <laughs> it has Quattro drive, obviously, but it doesn't say Quattro on it. It's it's an S5. It's a Stage One S5. So. Take take an A5, right? Have that have sex with a rocket car, and that produces the S5, right? And then the S5 has an incestuous relationship with another S5, and it becomes stage one. He says he's familiar with the S line. There you go. Well, then you know. And it's it's got that, like, reddish leather inside, which is just... Oh. Is this going to be a car show? Is this, like, yeah. a depressing car show yeah. day? Because I don't think anybody's excited. This is supposed to be a good show. Plus, it's Monday. We should be, like, making everybody happy. I'm not even allowed to price <laughs> it so it won't sell. That's what annoys me. Does it have magnetic ride control? No, it has... Uh, it has the custom suspension thing on it, but it doesn't raise and lower. Hey, Lick Lolly. Hey, Rick. Mm. But it'll blow most Porsches away. I know that much, and I know it will absolutely... All you'll ever see... The only way you'll ever see a WRX is in your rearview mirror. That's all you'll ever see with them. He does, Rico. At miles? Uh, it has 61,000. And, and I'll tell you right now, for 40... No, for 54,500, it was driven like a baby. <sighs> then I got hold of it. I know, right, Steph? She said, shoot me. It's 0 to 60 is <laughs> four and a half seconds. <laughs> new listeners on periscope i'm sorry steve's having a really don't buy my car because we're if having you to come to my house S5. i'm not going to try and sell it to you i'm gonna go well <laughs> you know and and bearing in mind it's a texas car it's not a main car mm-hmm. and that's anybody into cars will know what i mean i.e there is absolutely zero rust the car is absolutely spotless on it uh, just says you can probably get 32 33 yeah i know i'm trying to just sell it because that's what but i've been told time in the next few weeks fine i know i know i i I know i could get i i would be i would let somebody on the show have it for 28 Uh, because for that price is a poster of jane come with it a signed poster oh you can have her because she's the one i have to get rid of it (laughs) (laughs) wow Wow. (laughs) super dick yeah that's right (laughs) oh my god um why, why? Yeah, I know. I know they have aluminium frames, but no, um, Greg and I. No, no, no. You don't get to buy a car and get me for free. Yeah, you do. No. Yeah, fifty thousand. You can have it and her. <laughs> Welcome to Saudi Radio. So basically, the car I sell is cars women. and women. <laughs> Bless your bets. Ow. Hey, Mr. Goldie. No, uh, but t- Joel says tie her up in the passenger seat, and I'll be up from Kennebunk today. <laughs> <laughs> Rick wants to know if you take checks. <laughs> <laughs> Not if they're my kind of checks. No, 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 no. Checks in the mail. So. Okay, so can we not be any more like depressing about your car today and actually have fun because it is Monday? <sighs> Fine. Hello in Ireland. Thanks for joining. Um, so as I was saying for all of our new Periscope <laughs> users, this is not a normal show. I don't know what a normal show is, but it's not a normal show because you don't normally start the whole show crying his eyes out about having to get rid of the S5. But make sure to follow me here on Periscope, Secret Agent Jane. You can also catch our um, web page on Facebook, uh, The Jane and Steve Show. Make has sure launch control as well. Yes, we know it has launch control. That makes you go very fast from oh. standing still. It's great at traffic lights. I don't lights. think that would work. Dragon Eye says I should just take you to an Iron Maiden concert, but I actually don't nope. think that would work right now. Nope, not interested. Nope. 
We're leaving. We're getting to I know, travel the world. I know. I know. And step one is oh, getting to Oh, you see, S5. when you when you say it like that, it I makes know. me sound like a spoiled dick. Yes, that's exactly how you're acting. But, I, but I'm not. Just for reference. I'm still Nobody's upset that Marcus interested. called it an A4. For the other one. So we're keeping the S4. Which means now I will refocus on that. That will look like a showroom car every day of the week. But. Oh. Dragon Eyes asking, what am I going to get for a tattoo? It's a total surprise. Well, I know what I'm getting, but you'll have to wait. Yeah, no, you get something, I lose something. Wow. Isn't that fair in our marriage? <laughs> oh, there we go. Letting go. There we go. Woohoo. Oh, my God. Stop this, let's this let's talk, like, do let's this talk about Jane and the stuff she's going to get today. Let's just ignore you're Steve. You're not getting rid of the S5 today. Matter of fact, you're driving the S5 today. <laughs> I will finish the wings at some point. <laughs> before we leave here, I will have my wings finished. Bet you I'll sell the Audi before you get your wings done. Oh, probably. Because that'll be the next one. <laughs> I'm not doing it the next month. No, I have several pieces I'm working on over the next like month. So you're going to have to like... I would I would actually prefer it go to somebody I know. No, you would not. No, I would. Because, because if they did not clean it. Whoever buy Like you wanted it cleaned. Oh, oh hang on a minute. No, there's a, there's a contract. <laughs> when you buy this car, there's a contract. Right. I, here's the thing. I had Nobody's actually... Nobody's going to do it as good as you. Here's the thing. I had actually considered getting rid of it earlier on in the year because... Honestly, main winters are just fucked up here. They really are. I would never have moved here. If I'd known how shitty Maine is, I would never have moved here. Yeah, I guess I could... I, no, I, ca I can't stay in Tat and, and periscope it, Marcus. He was said we should... I mean, I we can should periscope, periscope it. But, periscope. You, but, but I got the kids. There. You've got to deal with the yeah. girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, me and the girls are going to go test drive the S5. They're going to find out what it is to do 150 in a car. Oh, you are not going to do that with them in the car today. Oh, what are you going to do? Stop me? Yeah. Oh, really? Interesting. <laughs> no. That should be fun. You're in a bad mood. Oh. You can't be like this constantly. Like, mm. between now and selling it. Oh, you Come think on. it's going to end when I sell it? Oh, my God. That's really good. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, dear wife, dear wife. No. No. Dear wife. Yes. Wow. That is like the beginning of some psycho talk mm -hmm. I've never heard any. That's right. Oh no, this this is the this is the preview to the mood I will be in once it's gone. I don't wanna I don't wanna be here with you. And nobody's gonna listen to our show. Everybody's like leaving because they're like, Oh, it's Monday, it sucks. Thanks for making our Monday better. Well, at least your Monday's not as bad as mine. Well it is, they're listening to you right now. Yeah, I guess, and you don't have an S5 either, so yeah, I guess it sucks to be you. <laughs> but apparently I'm going to know what that's like soon. <sighs> I fucking love that car. God damn it. <sighs> I've just removed about 30 horsepower of it, just changing out the carbon intakes. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus. Everybody's just kind of laughing and being quiet because they don't really know what to say to you. I mean, some people are like, oh, road rage, Steve. But, um, and then that, that's not enough. Yeah, it is slowly coming out, right, Dragon Eyes? That, that's not enough. We had the carbon monoxide alarms going off all weekend. We've, we've, we've been evacuating the house and getting stuff tested and trying to figure yeah, out what's going on. Cool. If you ever come to Maine, don't ever deal with a company called Shore Reality in Topsom. They are the biggest dickhead motherfucking twat face bollock sure, fate. Really? I, th I think it's that. Shaw it? reality, not Shaw reality. Whatever it is. <laughs> fucking idiots. Telling them since fucking last year, get the furnace clean, motherfuckers. Hey, we didn't do it die. yourself. Oh, whoop you fucking do. Good job they I didn't oh, die, because I'd come back and I would be yeah. butt raping them. Yes, here comes the rant. No. I'm 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 too upset. Really? I it's funny, Big B, I actually considered doing that. After we decided on Friday, Friday was a bad day all round. Um, uh, Fred? Oh, yeah. Friday on Friday, I me. actually, I was like, you know what? I could do a lottery and give the S5 away and sell the tickets. Okay. And give it away. See? Okay. Which would be kind of cool. Can you do that? Yeah. Well, you can. There's a few rules. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I know. That's going to be I know. I know. There's always like some bastard rules. that bought a ticket and be like, I'm going to sue him because I don't think it's fair. 
but then the person that won the car could actually find out where he lives and run him over. And you know the best part with the S5? It's so low to the ground, the car won't go over it. It will simply push him along for miles. You'll literally wear him down. Hunter <sighs> says, cheers for the rant. I wish I was there to buy you a drink. I, 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 need, I need commiserating. You do. You need, like, do. you need a lot of alcohol. And Thank you, Marcus. You know I'm only joking. But I do. I, I am genuinely very upset. I have absolutely... I feel nothing. To, I'm numb. <laughs> I can't rant today because I'm numb. I literally... I, I have no emotion today. Oh, God. I'm... Not, I'm it's... You know... You know when... I, maybe somebody can relate to this. You know when, like, your, your life partner or your wife suddenly is killed in front of you and there's just that moment that you just stand there shocked. Like, you, there's yeah, nothing. Yeah, a lot of our listeners just, can relate to I'm that. I'm sure you've all had traumatic death experiences. <laughs> well, imagine that... But imagine all your kids got killed as well, right? Paula and says, yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, uh, wow, you, we probably need to contact the police about that one then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Dragon Ice says, yeah, it happened yesterday. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Okay, uh, you're okay. crazy, <laughs> motherfuckers. Um, it's like that. It's I'm just, like I'm that. in stunned shock. Okay. Soon I'll start weeping endlessly for days. But, okay, okay, can I, can I make you a little bit happy thinking what? back to something that happened on Friday? What happened Friday? I nearly died. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I high-fived myself. He fucking high-fived himself. Yes, I did. All Friday night. Yes, I did. Into early Saturday morning. Yes, I did. Because I nearly died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, Paula, but- that made him happy. I come over as a real <laughs> asshole on this show. I've just realized yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Out of context, it's like... <laughs> yes. Watch Ghetto Arthur. Go back and watch Ghetto Arthur. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to find that out. See, the guys understand my pain. <laughs> guys are like, yeah, that's a tricky no, one. No, he does not have a life insurance policy on me, Paula. Oh, no. I brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sad. Seriously. Oh, oh, my God. You can't just keep talking about being sad on the show. You are, like, making me so bored. I'm ready to leave. <sighs> Hello to all the new Periscope listeners. They're just hey. like, what is going on? This is a yeah, terrible no, show. Everybody's bored. This is everybody's a terrible fucking show. bored. It's a terrible why show. Are, why were you doing this show? If you were going to be like this, I, you are all excited because, about today's show. Because, because... I, I want to, well I was up until I realized the ramifications of 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 the winter here and I would need to sell the car. I was totally happy. I made her come so hard she passed out. Fuck yeah. I literally almost was able to go. Yeah. I nearly died. I killed her. I nearly died. Uh-huh. Death by orgasm. Mm-mm. <laughs> did you do you high-fived yourself <laughs> yeah i did you high-fived yourself over and over and over oh you say it like i nearly died thing. yeah i know uh, yeah that's right well yeah kind of there we go i'm gonna turn that down a bit there okay. we go that's better um oh yeah i did i did we we, we we were having marital relations. <laughs> and I did really well. He did. He did, Paula. He really did high five himself over and over and over. Oh, come on. That was. There. Oh, come on. That was. You were high fiving himself when he brought me back to life. She was just like, I need water. I'm still, like, really, really dizzy and I can't really sit up. And I'm just like, yay. Oh, fuck yeah. And I was just, yeah. Give myself a pat on the bottom as well. I never passed out. No. With that before. I know. So, it's awesome. I mean, that was. Good. I'm glad I'm alive. That's good. First reaction, I was like, damn. Second reaction was like, all right. Then third reaction was like, oh, shit, I need to bring her back. Was no, it wasn't a euphemism. No, 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 no it really happened. No, it did. Yes. It Dragon, did. I says it sounds like a lifetime achievement for him. I, it was. Yeah. It was. I, I can absolutely guarantee you that is so unlikely to happen again. <laughs> I guess I was just on form that night. So... <laughs> Yeah. You were like somewhere fucking else today. I am. Like I don't even 
even know why we're doing this show. I mean, two minutes to the show. Can you give me like, one minute? Right. Oh, I can't. I'm driving. No, Shit. No, I was going to go not drink. Gonna drink. You okay. have to drive in like okay. an hour. Okay. Less than an hour. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, she came so hard she passed out. Great. <laughs> High five myself. That was awesome. That was a really good night. Then I realized I would have to sell the S5. And it all went down. You still high-fived yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Everybody's just like, you go from being sad one minute to excited about me. I'm bipolar. the next. I'm officially bipolar. I'm allowed to do I mean, that. that is a first. I've actually never known of anybody that's actually passed out from sex. It's got to uh, like happen. that. I guess. Well, women can have really strong orgasms. So I well, would imagine I know that. that. <laughs> I know <obviously>. you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. But, I mean, to actually pass out from it... And I don't mean, like, pass out because I was tired. I was, like, actually pass out. Sorry, all that background hissing. You can hear our fans running because we live in Maine, and Maine's a piece of shit. Uh, somebody said they shattered their excess pelvis. Yeah. All right. See? That's First nice. Person, that was how hard to do it. It's really hard because, you know, <laughs> I, I would imagine at that point they're screaming in agony, and you're just like, oh, fuck yes. But you have to look concerned at the same time. Are you okay, honey? Oh, Leonard says he's done it. So, yeah. Well, he's a black man. I thought you were a black man. I was that night. <laughs> Friday night, you got black Steve. You got all three and a half inches, whether you liked it or not. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Um, yeah. So we had an interesting weekend. We <laughs> nearly died. We had to leave the house all weekend long because we thought we were going to die from carbon monoxide poisoning. And now Steve yep. has to sell the S5. Yep. But we've made plans on moving. We have. We actually had a big, big chat yeah, that ended did. up in sex. We did. Yes, I'm trying how it goes. to move this along, Dragon Eyes. <laughs> it's painful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really, 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 really fucking painful. Yeah, so we had like this big chat. Don't mention the Audi. I did, but I think I got away with it. Shh. Okay. Shh. Okay. Okay. No, we're not moving to the UK, Mr. Goldie. We are going to go to the UK, but we're actually going to be traveling the world. But we actually made some really like big headway this weekend mm-hmm. on <laughs> like our plans. Yes, you gave big yeah. head too. But. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, but yes, we, we we made some big, big plans, which was exciting. We did. Uh-huh. We made we like, even made some plans, plans on like how we're going to like take this show and do it while we're traveling. Mm-hmm. Um, all the like the scopes we're going to do, our website stuff we're going to do. So we did like kind of like a whole business thing and, and all, like, kind of figured it all out, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we, yeah, we were because we were we were really concerned about you people. So we were like, how are we going to do the show? How is this actually going to work? And we kind of mm-hmm. we kind of figured out that, like, doing a podcast is really difficult. So we'll probably just do one of those maybe once a week. But we'll actually, what we'll actually start doing is doing periscopes daily that aren't so much the show. We'll do more. We're here, we're there, we're everywhere. Because every yeah. country we go to, we'll just, we'll just buy a SIM card that's got data on it. And then mm-hmm. there you go, and off we go. So... I've worked out that I'll be spending a lot of money before we leave. Okay. We gotta get proper phones. Oh Jesus Christ! I gotta get a good laptop. Yeah, you know, Dragon Eyes. We are trying to come up with a name for it. Dragon Eyes said, "Jane and Steve's excellent adventure." <laughs> oh, that's quite good. Uh huh. But that doesn't include the girls, or like Ethan and all the other kids that are coming with us, because they're all gonna good. be coming with us. Right, but it's like our whole family. Yeah. Yeah, you know. They're there by proxy. They're not there, you know, because we want them. They, they, they. You're not a fun person today. <laughs> Sorry. You are so not Sorry. a fun person we went, today. Well, okay, so here's what happens when you live in Maine, right? right. And nobody warns you that it's basically, oh it, it goes shit weather. What you do is you spend every day figuring out where you can go out somewhere where it's air conditioned so you actually don't die. It's like 90 degrees in Maine and nobody has air conditioning. Most of the restaurants don't have air conditioning. It's fucking ridiculous. So we went to see the Suicide Squad. We did. We did. We did. Yeah. I really liked it. It was okay. I it was it was just full on action. Right. It was fun. 
was okay. I mean, it went, I don't think it was it was better than Superman v Batman. Oh god, I that mean, was but awful. that's not hard. Yeah. Um, was that it better was than awful. Deadpool? No way. Oh god, no. No way. There, I <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any superhero film that's going to get close to Deadpool in because uh, Deadpool had everything. Yeah. There was comedy. There was violence. Was a bit of sexiness. Mm-hmm. If you like unicorns, and uh, so it was cool. Yeah. Was it better than Home Alone? Yes. I don't know. Oh, Suicide Squad? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. That, that's the kind of level we're at. I mean, it was good. No, I, it was good. it wasn't like, oh my God, fucking amazing. I can't wait till the next one comes out. I really, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess they're making one of the characters have their own show. I'm going to guess that's the Joker is going to have their own movie. I would assume so. Yeah. Because he was yeah. in it very little. Yeah, it was cool. I, I liked it. Mm-hmm. I liked the movie. I thought it was he good. He was very good as the Joker, I thought. You didn't like no, him. No, I don't like no, I don't like him. See, I see I still like the Adam West Jeez. Joker. Oh I still my like God. that one. Get out of the fucking I know, 60s. I know, Let but it it's, just, it's cool. I I mean, see, but I I didn't see I liked Heath Ledger's Joker. Well, yeah, that was very good too, but I think this one is that psycho crazy too. But yeah, a little he's, bit more like mean. He's like a lot darker. He's like a black gangster rapper. That's green and white. He 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 dresses he like he's black. He dresses like a pimp, and I, that's not the Joker. The Joker's meant to be batshit crazy, and he wasn't. He was more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like him. I don't, I, I'll you know. I don't oh, know. I thought he was really good. No, I didn't like him at all. Yeah. I didn't like. I didn't like. Jay any of, likes Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Yeah, he, I mean, he was good. Jack Nicholson was very, very good. I liked Heath Ledger's because he okay, had he the right amount. Back. I know. Okay. I know, but he had the right amount of crazy. It was that. Right, but the Suicide Squad version of the Joker is kind of a lot darker. All the characters are darker, a little yeah, bit more evil. Yeah. I mean, they kill people, so it's a it's a lot more of a darker yeah. crazy than even Heath Ledger's. I actually, Joker. my my favorite character in Suicide Squad was. Um, uh, uh, Will Smith's character. I actually liked him the well, most. I really didn't like him at all. I didn't realize he was so big of a part in the movie. No, I didn't. I mean, they kind of went like, oh, look, Joker and Harley Quinn, Joker yeah. and Harley Quinn, and then they actually weren't like really the main people. Which kind of was weird. Harley Quinn was okay. I mean... Yeah. You know, I, I mean, pff, I don't know. I don't... Th- there wasn't enough of each of the character. I think that... And I understand. That was a complaint that mm-hmm. there was there wasn't enough time to give screen time to all the characters mm-hmm. properly so I don't know mm-hmm. just whatever it's a superhero yeah, movie like Deadshot, and people were asking was he good yeah yeah you know. yeah. yeah he was good yeah. mm-hmm. I like that I, I mean you know it's a movie go see it mm-hmm. you know no one's ever going to be fully pleased I about think it I a lot of people already saw it because it's been out for two weeks no it has and it came out Thursday Thursday last Thursday it came out mm-hmm. I think it came out the weekend before. Did it? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It, it was on the fifth. It came out the fifth right, because so. that was when we were. Well, go see Belgium. it at the Dollar Theater. <laughs> then you don't spend too much money. <laughs> I want to go see Bad Mums. That I do want to see. That <laughs> wow. looks fucking awesome. See, and Sausage Party, you? or Fest. What is it? <laughs> Sausage party. Party, there we party. go, yes. Yes, yeah, Ethan's just... I That's guess we'll one. go see that we'll Wednesday, s- yeah. Thursday. Yeah. I don't know when Ethan's coming back. Uh, no. Sometime this week, mm-hmm. before Friday. Mm-hmm. Is, Rose, if is you're listening, in. wow, don't talk to me again. Yeah, I haven't heard from Ethan. He's yeah. messaged Rose yeah, over and just, over to try to meet up with her uh, and get a picture with her. She just sounds like she's all talked to me. I know. <laughs> I just want to know <laughs> why the fuck she's working. On a weekend on a in weekend, Florida. so much that she uh-huh. can't even answer her phone. What are you doing? And like, you know. I know. It's hard to answer a phone when you're on your back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited to see Sausage Party. Yeah. I, oh, so I, Big I, B's I, seen it. Big mm-hmm. B, what did you think of it? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it... it sound, the fact that they were trying to get it down to an R rating and actually had to take the pubic hair off the balls of the pita bread <laughs> says to me that this is that's probably awesome. the kind of film I'm going to like. That's awesome. I am Marcus so. says the roses all talk. Mm. Obviously. Apparently Obviously. so. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep talking shit yeah, about her. Yeah, kept messaging me going, I messaged her, I haven't heard from her yet, and I know Steph said she hadn't heard from her because she didn't respond to her. Did you see Weekend in Florida? I saw Weekend at Bernie's. That was Weekend good. Weekend in Florida? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. 
I see Miguel's yeah, background got, again. Yeah, wants to see it as well. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. It. Sorry, this is a really shit show today. Yeah, this is a really fucking I'm, shit show. We're just I kind asked, of... why did you want to do this? And you're like, oh, yeah, no, we're totally doing this. Like, two minutes to the show. Just like, the furnace guy just left. Oh, did you, see that, just did you see that small write-up? The guy that played R2-D2 died. Yeah, Was that write, supposed to be a joke? I'm trying. I'm trying. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ha, Yes. Okay, so so Kenny Baker? yes. No. Yes. No, Kenny Baker is. Is Kenny, it Kenny Baker? Kenny Baker. Is it Kenny Baker and the Doctor Who guy? No. Okay. Kenny Baker. Yes. Kenny Baker. <laughs> you didn't even know. I did. I did. I met him. <laughs> yeah, Dragonus is yes. Kenny Baker was R two D two. He was. Him. Oh, yeah, he was in. He was in Time Bandits, and they uh-huh. filmed part of that in Chepstow, and they were there. Today. <laughs> they also shot part of Robin Hood there, and even though Kevin Costner wasn't there, the Maid Marian was. Is that a good thing for you? Uh, no, I found out I had no game that day. Plus, I was like twelve <laughs> at the time, so it was a mixed, mixed, mixed bag of emotions that day. I was like, she's kind of hot in the you whole. You were twelve. Medieval. Twelve or thirteen, yeah. You're like twenty. Oh, I have been. No, I wasn't. Robin Hood? Oh, maybe. Like the one with Kevin Costner? No, no, hang on. No, came out I, in like the early were, 90s. Mm, like 90s. Well, I was still going to Jehovah's Witness maybe meetings. So when was that? Jesus Christ. Oh, my uh, God. I, I, yeah. I, I know. So, anyway. Uh, somebody asked a question for mm-hmm. you. What the fuck they, is this show? No, nobody's it's asking terrible that. They're today. just leaving. Um, okay. Yeah, Brian Adams was big in the early 90s. Yes, Dragon Eyes. We know that because Steve Everything actually went to his I concert. Do, I do for you. Mm-hmm. Jesus. No, uh, somebody asked, if you could pick any person to play the Joker, who would you pick? Uh, Not a person that already played him. Just okay. like a, pick a celebrity. Um, uh, Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> play the Joker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be awesome. Wow. So much slapped. <laughs> that would that 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 would be um uh mm. seriously uh Bobcat Gold, I think actually. Really? Um no, I think Isn't he dead? Hmm? Isn't he dead? No. Oh, I No, we died. just watched a we just watched a comedy stand up of his. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Granted, he looks very different now. He actually yeah. looks presentable now. Yeah, he looks um, old. So he looks old. I don't know. I don't know who I'd get because I would never, ever in a million years have picked. Um, uh, uh, Mike said Matthew Lillard. No as idea the Joker. who that is. Uh, Jay Lance said Christopher Walken. Oh, that would be good. That would, that be, would very be very good. good. That's a good call. That's kind of more of the '60s, '70s, mm-hmm. '80s Joker. More of the Jack Nicholson, Cesar Romero one. See, I'm right on the edge of doing my Christopher Walken impression, but I can't pull it out today. Well, I don't think I've heard that. Have you not? It's uh, really maybe bad. Maybe said Bobcat would be great as the Joker. Yeah. Um, Miguel said Christoph Guest. Christoph uh, Waltz. He was the Jew hunter from, from Inglorious Bastard. Uh, oh, Christoph Waltz. Sorry, I don't Guest. know. I actually don't know who that I is. I don't know who those are. No. I mean, we're not very clued up on celebrity people. Well, Christopher yeah. Walken would be really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Not actually, good. Donald Trump. Donald Trump would make a great <laughs> joker. My jokes are huge. Look at the size of my jokes. That'd be great. Oh, that's an interesting. Uh, and Matthew Lillard, Marcus said, was the guy. He was in Scream. Mm. Uh, oh, he, oh, he would be. Yeah, I know who you mean. Oh, he would be good. Yeah, he actually would be good. That was yeah, Marcus's he idea. Would. Matthew Lillard. Yeah, that's uh, very so good. Purgatory said Christoph Waltz would be amazing. I don't know who Christoph Waltz is. Um, I don't know if I'd recognize him. Typing it in so I can who? see if I. Christoph Waltz? I don't know who that is. Mm-hmm. Christopher um, Waltz? No, Christoph Waltz. I don't, I don't know who that is. I don't know, but no, I don't think so. I don't think he has. Based on absolutely nothing. But you see, but you see that's the thing. I would one. never have picked... When I heard Heath Ledger was doing Joker, I was like, what the fuck? But I mean, clearly, you know, yeah. he brought something that's to the table. Al Pacino. <laughs> yeah. That would be a slightly different Joker all around, wouldn't it? Dragon Ice and Sylvester Stone should be Batman. See, I really like Ben Affleck as Batman. He just has the lip thing go and he That's has the it. whole mask on. <laughs> Ugh, Batman. Ugh. <laughs> that would probably be good. Jeff, Jay Loud said Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum as the Joker. Maybe like 20 years ago. I'd have ago. to really wipe that face up. What? 
I, I, sorry, I suddenly <laughs> thought that there was an FCC person actually in the room. You looked over there, and no, I was I'm like, trying to understand where you're going with that. So, uh, Jeff Goldblum, yeah, 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 he would be interesting. I, I still think actually that the best call so far was, um, uh, who did we say? Shit. I was like, oh yeah, that would be really Matthew good. Lillard. Yeah, yeah, he would be From very good. Movie, yeah, yeah, he would be very good. Because mm-hmm. he does have Steve that kind Buscemi? of... Buscemi? Yeah. If you wanted something uncomfortable to look at, yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, no. I don't. Th- I don't think he would. G- I don't think he can carry that power. You see, I don't think. What, what's his name? Jay Leno. Who's J- Jay Leno? Uh, yeah, the one who's playing Joker. No, he's the car guy, isn't he? Jay Leno is the car guy. He's that. Like, <laughs> he's that one. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not Jay Leno. Jared Who? Leto. Yeah, him. Leto. Leto. That's it. I don't know how to say his name. That's it. <laughs> I find it fun to make connections in my brain randomly. I see that. Um, I see that. I'm very good at Chinese whispers. Or maybe not so good. Oh, yeah, no, I'm excellent. I'm excellent. <laughs> I, you see, I used to be the one at school that would be like, somebody would say, like, somebody's on the telephone for you. I would hear that, and I would go, in the garden there are blue flowers. I would just totally change it. Jeez. Yeah. I you see, I, I don't like this new Joker. I don't think he's very... I thought he was very good. I, d- I don't find him... Now, is he going to be playing the Joker in, like, the yes. Batman movie? Yes, Okay, so th- basically this is these the characters from Suicide Squad mm-hmm. are now going to be in, like, the new Batman, Superman... Yeah, because there's the Justice League Just- now coming as well. Is that... Are we DC or are we Marvel right now? D- I'm DC? looking for somebody DC, else's isn't answer it? because DC. Steve doesn't actually know. Yeah, it's DC. You because- actually have no idea. No, because Marvel always does that fucking annoying comic page turn at the beginning of their movies that pisses me off like oh, Mar- Marvel I'm <laughs> guessing it's DC because Dragon Eye says Marvel's way better oh but Rika said it was both and then Frosty said it was DC well there I is a crossover isn't there because no because DC is Batman and isn't no <laughs> yeah no because no Spider idea. yeah because Spider-Man was in God, we are not nerds <laughs> um, because Spider-Man is in the Avengers movie and he's Marvel right but Who's in the Avengers movie? That's in, but isn't the Avengers also Superman? No, that's not right. We just go to the movies fucking to watch hell. them. We actually have no fucking clue at all, and don't care. Apparently, and don't care. No, we just go to be entertained. Mm-hmm. As so. a side note, Leonard just mentioned he he thought Jared Leto was like you know really really good as the Joker. Mm. Um, Everybody likes him. I, I just th- I thought he was weird as fuck. I think that was his actual comment, and he is mm-hmm. really excited because he's getting married in five days. Five days. Don't. <laughs> High five yourself. Yeah, I did. Leonard getting married. Really, yeah, I did. Um, oh man. Yeah, I think. Um, see, but I was one of the only ones that that was really excited when I heard Ben Affleck was going to be Batman. Everybody was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe that's happening!" I'm like, no, think about it. He's perfect because he looks rich. So the Bruce Wayne side is covered. The biggest problem the Batman franchise has had since. Uh, Adam West uh-huh. is having a Batman that actually looks rich. They don't look rich. They look. They can look charming, right. but they can't look rich. Whereas Ben Affleck looks rich. He just has that look of like I have a lot of money. Uh, Dragon Eye says Keaton was a good rich looking Batman. No, yeah, I'd say he was when he was in his suit because you have that hilarious meme. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I love that one. Um, so so yeah. Uh, Mr. Willie doesn't like Ben Affleck. Eh, well, you know, not uh, not everybody can have taste. So this guy's just trying to get Al Pacino in something. He's he like, is. How about Al Pacino as Alfred? <laughs> I, I, in fact, <laughs> clearly, Al clearly, Al Pacino <laughs> listens to our show because that's clearly him in disguise. Oh, yeah, just fishing himself for like you know a comic book movie. No, I see. I really like Ben Affleck as as Batman. So I, I just I think he's good. I think. Batman now well, looks... Have, it's really interesting because there are a lot of people who say, oh, disagree, Keaton was totally horrible, mm-hmm. you know, Big B says he can't stand mm-hmm. Ben as Batman, Michael Keaton was the best Batman ever. Everybody really has their favorite picks. It's really yeah. interesting. It's not yeah. like, oh, no, he was kind of known as the classic, and then, you know, everybody has their favorites. No, Miguel, I'm no, going to disagree with you. He, Val Kilmer. He said, yeah. <laughs> he said <laughs> it's, not, it's not just rich, they have to look scorned. I... I they can look scorn. I think you can. Add, I, to me, it's like all the Batman since since Adam West just have not looked wealthy. 
they don't look like they've grown up wealthy and there's just that look about them Michael Keaton was just simply too thin see that's the problem I had with him you see you think somebody affluent is going to be you know and Batman needs to be big so you know yeah, I mean, Purgatory said, you know, the one thing was the whole Batman thing is that he should have, Ben Affleck should have gotten his own movie first yes, before he should doing have. that. Yes. And that would have made so yeah. much more sense. They yeah. probably would have made that movie the, even better. The problem is now, you know, well, it's, it's always been the problem. And I'm sorry for all you comic book fans, but you suffer from the same fate as well. It's driven by money, not by story. And that's the reality of it. And these films are being kicked out now to make money fast. And, and no one cares about the story anymore. Well, we all do. Well, I don't. As long as there's a chicken spandex, I'm good. Boop. You mean in latex? Anything. Don't I don't think you want her in spandex. Why? Spandex is latex. Can't, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, you want black shiny latex. Do I? And boots. All right. Yeah, yeah when are they going to do Catwoman? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Ha- Halle Berry was the last one to I do mean, that. I mean, they haven't had a lot of like good success with like women superhero movies. Oh, my God. Miguel, you're one of those fucking people that get all twisted up about this yes i i'm, I'm <laughs> so gonna get like angry. really fucking grumpy uh miguel says he was a vigilante because of the joker shit mate money or not there has to be a complacent feeling towards his millions yeah i know i know i i know that's my point he has to look what well. okay look there's two types of people in this world, right? When you come to rich people. There's rich people who know they're rich. And there's rich people who look rich and have absolutely... The wealth is irrelevant to them because money's irrelevant to them. And that's the look they haven't been able to nail. They haven't been able to nail that I'm so rich I don't even think about money. You never... You can never... I can imagine Michael Keaton at the drive through going, You shortchanged me. I need another 10 cents. Right? I can imagine that. Val Kilmer probably is like, if you've got any free food. Right? I can imagine that. But Ben Affleck, it's, he just strikes me. He goes to a drive-thru and goes, and they go, oh, it's, you know, $14.20. And he's like, what's that? It's $14. What, what the hell is $14? What, what is that? Is that a fraction? What, what? I, he just strikes me that he would have absolutely so much wealth that it's irrelevant to him. Which, so I understand that part of it, but it's just, you know. Oh my god! <laughs> I'd say get a go. girlfriend, but you already have one. <laughs> you need to. I didn't call you a tosser. I'm calling you a plonker now. I yeah, I know I he has a dark so. personality, but I just, you know, no. Look, look at no, 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 no. Right? I don't care <laughs> what you. Com- that's listening. He's oh. actually having a conversation with Miguel, who's in the speaker chat room, um, over no Batman. Batman is Adam West from the sixties TV show. He is today. not from the comic book, right? So, as far as I'm concerned, I don't give a rat's ass whether they're trying to keep him to the comic book. As far as I'm concerned, Adam West was the epitome of how Batman should be, right? He was a total gentleman. Does it mean Miguel can't have like his own opinion? Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yes, really it does. Easy the last time I checked, rant. it wasn't the Jane and Steve and Miguel's opinion show. No, it says the Jane and Steve show. If Miguel would like it, the Jane and Steve and Miguel show, he can start his own one, and then he can. He called you a big fish he, ass. <laughs> I smell fishy. Ew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Anyway, no, I don't like Keaton either. We're agreed on that. So there we go. Maybe on that agreement we can build uh, a... a uh, Jayla said Bill Gates, Bill Gates is stupid rich and he looks like he would be concerned with being short in 10 cents. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... but exactly. No, no, no. Gates but that's my point. That's my point. There's different types of rich people. Bill Gates is that yeah, type. Right? Bill Gates is that type, right? So is Donald Trump. He's one of those penny-pinching assholes, Right. Mm-hmm. It's Steve Jobs, same same type of character, but there are certain rich people. And I'll be honest, they're never the celebrity ones. Mm-hmm. I've met some rich people that have that that Batman quality of like Batman quality yeah. is a real thing now. Mm-hmm. He's a fucking comic book character. Oh, that's what you'd like to think. <laughs> that's what he'd like you to think. I don't think you're helping Miguel. He's just actually she, Miguel he, knows he's not helping you. Though. I know he does. Such a dick. <laughs> oh, God. Um. 
So yeah. Um, anyway, I, I just um, I I know you did, job, Miguel. <clears throat> I don't need to get riled up today. You're like a really grumpy fucker today. Really I know grumpy. why. I know why. Fucking yes, Big B. Fucking yes. Batman is real. He lives in us all. So yeah, you're saying I could have Ben Affleck, okay? Yeah, yeah, you can. You did the other night. Uh huh. I don't know about that. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you the bat finger. <laughs> oh, it wasn't actually, was it? No. <sighs> I'm just saying. Oh, no. oh my uh, god. Why okay. Are we doing a show today? So I don't know. I don't okay. know. So you're actually going to get a tattoo today yeah. to start your thing. Now you've got everything planned. You've you've replanned I out am your body. I'm pretty fucking covered. Yeah. You are. Uh-huh. Yeah. Once, so once I get them all done. Yeah. Once she gets them all done. Yeah. The last thing to get done will be the coloring of her wings. Pretty much. No, I'll do it in between. Like uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get a few and get used to it. If I just if I like go in soon after getting mm-hmm. one done, that was kind of painful. I'll just go get it done because I'll remember. Oh god, this is gonna fucking hurt. And you know, because right now I'm just dreading it. I've waited so long to yeah. do it. Oh, it's been years. Yeah, I know. I the last had a one you did was in, in Dallas. Like four years. Is it four? No, it can't be four. four. Years. Can't be Three four. Three and a half years. Is it? Three and a half, four well, years. Well, it's been a year here. We were a year in California. But I've had my wings for a long time. Your wings weren't the last thing you did, I got was them it? In like oh, was it? Yeah, oh, wow. Were. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, wow. my wings were the last thing I got done. Okay. Well, I know. Then, yeah. I know, right? So tomorrow will be an interesting show. Yeah, it's, it's going to hurt. We're going to set up a I charity link to like St. Jude's Hospital. And <laughs> if anybody wants to donate $10, I will slap Jane's leg. 100 Want to make it 100 100 dollars so 100 dollars a slap. I mean, in like two days' dude. time, you can do that. No, because tomorrow. Be itchy. No, tomorrow. No, you're not slapping yeah. my fucking leg. Oh, really? The children have to die that day, do they? <laughs> children not die. slapping my leg. Oh, well, I guess Jane's made her choice. Wow. Save a child dying of cancer or, or, or be comfortable. And she's choosing comfort. I'm going to choose comfort over you slapping me. Well, you slap like a girl. I guess I can probably handle it. So. It's really funny. I, Big B did not strike me he had any tattoos. I thought maybe he'd have one on his arm or something, or maybe yeah, two well, on his 36 arm. 36 hours of work done on his back. And he's you have to send done. a picture of that. I don't know how yeah. you take a picture of it. Please, I don't want a bum shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I do. Um, but, oh, you, you'll have to send us pics of that. I didn't know you had tattoos. So, um, uh, Jay Lowe said he'd rather pay to see Jane punch Steve in the face thousand bucks to charity <laughs> i got slapped for free the other day on the show yeah, i know it's a good show so, I know everybody like jumped off the speaker into periscope to watch are you smoking crack today miguel or are you just randomly promoting shit no he really did i, I saw pictures I, I know but that's just a really weird thing to say in the middle of a comment we're, we're all just trying chatting. to save our show really yeah oh okay our hey show, hey everybody in periscope really everybody in periscope here we go <laughs> miguel did a charity wrestling event saturday No, all I can hear is lifeboat sinking. Uh, J Lo said he really wished he could afford a grand just so he can see that. For just a mere twenty-seven more of those, you can have an S five. Yeah, people are asking how much. Twenty, like twenty-eight. Yeah, 28. 28. 28, 28 and I'll put the carbon back on it because uh, all I'm going to do is sell the carbon on eBay. I just, you know, yeah. You're not giving giving it away for free like that easily. Fuck no. <laughs> And you buy it by next week. And you and, and you get the carbon fiber. <laughs> and you've got it. You've got to be prepared. I'm going to talk you out of it all the way because I don't want you to have the you car. You know, there's like a spot here. It's you know, this is wanted spot. in yeah, six know. states. <laughs> <laughs> that, that yeah, that license plate, six states. There are warrants out for it. <laughs> they just couldn't catch me. Apparently, driving 150 through 30 zone is considered irresponsible, and they backed off. Typically. I know. They threw the spikes out. Ha <laughs> ha, I've got, like, no inflaty tire Jesus things. <sighs> cool, Big V. I'll check for it on Twitter. And, yeah. and, and he brought it up because you were talking about charity. So he actually did a charity event. Too. Well, I know that. I'm just trying to be a dick. <laughs> Don't ruin you my M.O. Exactly okay, you know what we're doing right after the show is done? What? going to give you new your testosterone shot because i think that's what part of your problem is it yeah because you're like a grumpy i need a prick in my ass yeah you do <laughs> so yeah 
Time, time to go get shot. The worrying part is if that does cheer me up, basically. You're a girl. If I have pig hormones injected in me, <laughs> I become happy. I know. Bacon all the way, baby. I got liquid <laughs> bacon. <laughs> finish this yeah let's i was ready about i don't know uh yeah 61 minutes ago okay Uh yeah sorry for a really bad show i am i am tomorrow seems gonna be nicer should i tell everybody what i'm getting or just make them wait no, make them wait. Make them wait. No, because some people are going, oh, well, that's stupid. You shouldn't get something like that. And then they'll sit and they'll go, oh, wow, I have to eat my words. Well, instead of doing that, I just won't listen because that would be awkward. Whereas now they can all <laughs> listen and go, oh, yeah, good. And they can Well, all- for everybody that follows me on Instagram and Twitter, I will post a picture later tonight. Uh, after it, like... Yeah, really, Miguel, can- that's all you've got. I bet Steve was voted in school most likely to succeed. You know I was homeschooled, right? <laughs> wow. Of course you did, Marcus. You're in Texas. Wow. Actually, it should be barbecue, really. Here we go now. Let's just go. Can we please so, go now? so yes, we'll, we'll, we'll we have go. To leave in like 30 minutes. Oh, do we? Oh shit. Okay. I hope the car starts because I've taken a lot of shit off it. <laughs> well, I wanted to take all the carbon off it, right. but I didn't necessarily put in my head that we might be driving it today. I thought I had a bit more time, so I'm going to no, go out. No, no, no. I, I better go quickly I'm work on it. I've given a testosterone shot on scopes before, j like live on the show, actually. Yeah. But right now, I just need to go give it to him. Yeah. Uh, I need my cocaine. All Bye, right. motherfuckers. We'll be back tomorrow with a better show. Car for Steve sale. Bumby. Convince so me why you should have it. 28K. Bye, Felicia. Bye. <laughs>